welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Hilda Wambogo a clinical psychologist a mom and uh, thank you very much for choosing to be here and uh, for the returning subscribers thank you very much for your support I don't take that for granted and now today I'm home and uh, to visit one of my friends who lost their mom who was very close to my mom and I passed by the church that we used to worship, the church that we, we, we served God through taking care of that house, whereby I said my mom was a caretaker, and I thought, why not take you through, through that church, the compound and all that. So stay tuned and let's do this. So this place brings a... Uh, a lot of memories and it's a long time since I was here and it's like they're expanding the church because I can see a number of people working and kuna michanga imemua huku and then uh, I came along a former teacher my former primary teacher who was here I think anasimamilia mjengo and he offered to take me around the church compound to just see what Tomorrow. was happening yes yes Guy, yeah. this place has grown yeah and it is going to grow can you see the way we are proceeding on wow yeah okay this is good this is just but one wow. huh? wow. <laughs> from this yeah we are coming here uh -huh. yeah. The teacher offered to take me around the church, showing me the different sections and uh, what was to be done. He was explaining like this area was to be given to breastfeeding mothers to take care of their babies or rather to nurse their babies um, when they are hungry and uh, they need some space to do that. And then... There was this other part whereby the choir would be separated from the rest of the congregation. Um, again, there is this other part whereby the priest and the elders of the church usually stay from the rest of the congregation. So this was so good and I was so happy to see a church whereby I grew up from a church whereby I really served God uh, that it's expanding to be a bigger place of worship whereby so many people can now congregate together and worship God. This place brings a lot of memories and a lot has changed because like this place there used to be a huge tank that we used to reserve the water just in case um, there was no water around the church so yes this place brings back a lot of memories yes. Sana. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Baraka Zimetoka Hapa. Hey, is Eh, the Moshito Yes, that you had you people. Yes, so I didn't want to film much and on his chukwe kazi without their consent. So I'll begin um taking you around from here and this is what we used to call jukua whereby in case we had event which was taken through the church uh in this compound 
the the guest of honors and the priest and the elders would use that place to sit and then the rest of this compound would be uh tents would be placed in the rest of the compound and then down there the farthest end over there that is the hall again there were women women's guild there who were worshipping or i think they had a meeting so i didn't want to go too close to that building that but that is what we used to call the hall whereby meetings were held the conversation that i was talking about was held now the kitchen was, is behind that that building yes so basically this is the church compound uh that is the hall and then uh behind me is the jukua and then on this other side is the church now this is how the church looks like the old church this is how the old church looks like but ukiangalia they are expanding the church that is why and there is a construction that is undergoing that is why kuna car heavy along this area kuko na mchanga there was a veranda and then you can see the the tunnels um so this is the entrance of the church let me try and get in to one venye kanisa inaka so oh my god this place aki brings a lot of memories uh in this church we had two quorums kulikuwa na quorum mbili if we used to clean with my sister kila mtu angechukua quorum yake kutoka huko mbele we clean all the way to the outside and then we would tidy the seats or rather wipe the seats before we are done with the church so this was the church and uh, still is the church that is being used before they come up with a new construction so yes that was basically or is basically the church and then hapa nje there was a a veranda palikuwa na two stairs like five of them and that veranda went all all the way the, around the church venye nimezungushwa na my former teacher so that was inside the church and then we had some old latrines what we called what what we usually call latrines over there but these other ones are new ones as it was easy we had around around like uh, seven of them but i think not i think this is the newest one and then kulikuwa na kabarabara kako hapa um so this is the church and then this other side is that ka pavement or kabarabara and this pavement led to two places we have some offices around this area and before we get to these offices the gate um the farthest gate unaona uko ya blue is our reverence home uh the time we were worshiping in this church and the time that my mom was here for a very long time there is this one reverend called reverend kathuni who used to live there these are the offices za kanisa again meetings could be held here so ukitoka hiyo barabara ya kwenda kwa pasta kuna hizi ofisi and then ukiwa on this other side unaona kwa the reverend over there that is his home aki that pastor he used to accommodate us as his kids and those those um these rooms over here they were not here so i'm not sure what they are but naona kama ni church school rooms and then this latrines over here we are not here so i think ni za kutumua na wenye wana wanatumia 
easy rooms and then there is another car path over here behind this building let me take you through it kidogo kidogo there you go this car pavement aki naletanga memories zingine tu oh my god i cannot believe uh one day we used this this place this is the place where by we used to use usiku if they, there was anything to be done in church we would pass through this this place to nainua the bulb wire so that we can be be able to pass through and then this car path now leads to leads to the church so instead of going all the way kwa barabara to the main gate we used to use this car area to access to the church if there was anything being done so back to the path that led to the to the reverend's home on this other side there is a land that is owned by the church and again things have really changed because they didn't have a greenhouse but right now i can see quite quite a big greenhouse over here and uh watch it one kama we can access in and see what they've planted in here yeah we can access it watch it one wanakuza nini huku ndani wow okay, this place has changed but still brings about a lot of memories so yeah this is the greenhouse and i think this is capsicum over there the capsicum now kombele kabisa i can see some kills yes so this was this was initially not there but uh kanisa inakuwa so on this other side there is coffee plantation wacheni niwaambie tumechuna kahawa huku i even forgot to tell you guys how we used to to pick coffee from from this uh, farm there you go we used to pick coffee mostly on saturdays and we used to pick them select them and then they would be taken to the factory by my mom sometime ungechoka until unalala kwa ako kanyasi but uh, wa aki watu utoka mbali we used to come here and then kuna tunyanya tulikuwa tunakuwa huku i think nitazita tomato zamstuni zam we used to pick them go use them to cook aki god god is great and uh, this place aki brings about a lot of memories nikikumbuka if the land was to be cultivated again my mom would find people to help in digging out the land in preparation to plant what was in that season so the whole of this part from where the greenhouse is to the farthest corner was the was the coffee plantation the greenhouse haikuwa hapo so yes so basically that's it that is the church compound whereby we've seen the church we've seen the jukwa we've seen the the path where we used to ki, to kingia kanisani and then we've seen the coffee plantation and we are heading back to the church area so i am not sure how much ama approximately how big this land is but uh, you can tell it's not a small piece of land it is huge and a lot was required to be done in this compound kuna maua ingelimiwa you can see some flowers around these parts kuna maua zingelimiwa kuna kanisa ingeoshwa kuna compound ingefagiwa if you take across um near right now it's because they are con constructing maua zime zimekuwa damaged by this soil but you can tell kuna maua ziko huko so there was a lot that was required to be done in this compound 
again along that um along uh, along the walls of the church kulikuwa na the corridors that needed to be cleaned ukikuja on this other side there were washrooms to be cleaned uh flower beds to be swept for aki there was a lot of work but one thing i said before we never complained about all this we worked without getting tired and for sure i can say today our blessings came from this place mumaske huyo mwalimu akiniambia because they knew us they knew what we used to do in this home of worship we used to to do everything without complaining and all that and i wish i would meet the person who takes care of this church and get to know how things are and all that so on this other area ukienda kutoka church so um ukingia from there that is the main gate once you get from the main gate the first thing that you will see is the land that is owned by the church and then over there there is the coffee plantation that I took you through na ukiangalia vizuri kuna the greenhouse huko and then we have the latrines we have the church over there the cars are normally parked here the farthest corner kuna jukua there you go there you go and then we have the hall I didn't get a chance to get near the hall because there was a meeting and I didn't want to to create some attentions. So yeah, and that's it. And right now we are So right now I'm heading out uh using the main entrance and uh guys, this place brings a lot of memories of like I've said earlier and I thank God that he gave us an opportunity to serve in this church and um when his time is right he makes everything beautiful we served in this church for a number of years we never complained and for sure when his time came he he blessed us thank you very much for watching and may god bless you and feel encouraged if you're out there and you're about to give up just know that god's time is the best now this is the road that we used to use if you were to access the church from the main road to the farthest corner whereby that guy is about to take his corner so thank you very much guys for watching kindly remember to subscribe like watch and leave a positive comment